Hey Rosie. Extremely well. Here's your tripod. This tripod has sat outside unprotected for like seven months. That's kind of broken and rusted. That's also broken. And I don't have the part right here which usually holds the camera. I don't know if you guys couldn't tell or not, but I haven't posted a video in about nine months. So I'm probably gonna be a little rusty in this video. I'm gonna need a second to hype myself up really quick so I'm ready for this video. Okay, this video is gonna be about laziness and procrastination, which perfectly explains me. You know, nothing kind of popped up on my channel for the past nine months, so that kind of shows you my level of procrastination. YouTube isn't the only thing I procrastinate on. I can get lazy at school, work, or even with sleep. I'm gonna give you the first example. I work at this little, like, um, gelato shop. I make coffee, I scoop gelato, and I clean. Fun. During work isn't really when I procrastinate or be lazy because you know usually my managers around I can't be doing any of that but when I close that's where it kicks in. Closing requires a lot of cleaning. You have to sweep, mop, take out all the gelato of the gelato case, clean off all the tables, wash all the dishes. So with all that work it kind of awakens the lazy part of me. When I sweep, if I see that you know I miss like a like a little piece of paper, some like crumb or something, I'll just kind of do one of these. put it somewhere that no one can see it and then sometimes I just like you know won't restock something and then when my manager's like hey why didn't you restock that so I just kind of say oh oops I, I forgot but in reality I did it that's really all the like lazy stuff I do at work because like if I was any more lazier I'd probably get fired I have some intruders that came in Okay, she said I. The next thing that I kind of procrastinate on and I'm super lazy with is school. If I'm assigned something like an essay or a project, I'm one of those people who will do it the night before it's due. And I know it's not too good of an idea to do that, but... I also really like to procrastinate on my homework. I don't mean to do it intentionally, but that's just kind of what happens. I'll be walking back home from school, and I'll say, As soon as I get home, I'm going to do all my homework and study for the rest of the day. And then what actually ends up happening is this. Ah, uh, dank meme. I'm also one of those kids that really don't do squat diddly on group assignments. I'll act like I'm helping by, like, kind of questioning what we have to do over and over and then by doing that I kind of like hope that they figure it out so then it kind of makes it look like I did something but sometimes when I have no choice and I get idiots for group partners then I'm the one doing all the work I will do a lot just to avoid going to sleep it'll be like 12 a.m. and I'll be like hmm I guess it's time to clean up my entire apartment. Then after I clean everything and it's like 2 a.m., I'll be like, the one video I saw on my recommended YouTube page seemed interesting, let's watch that. And then a couple clicks later, it's 4 a.m. It's not that I don't like sleep. I love sleep. I wish I could sleep forever. When I was recording that, my camera actually died. But there's no actual reason for doing that. I don't know, it's just kind of a bad habit. All right, that's all. Back to the regular video. But next week is Thanksgiving break, which means seven days of free time. Well, it's not all free time because I still have work on Friday and Sunday. And that kind of brings me to the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed me explaining how bad of a procrastinator I am and how lazy I am. But don't get me wrong, I do have a good work ethic. I have all A's and B's. I have a job. I'm good. Make sure to comment below what you want, I'll reply most likely. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to me if you haven't already. And I'll see all you cool, awesome, gooptastic people next time. Bye -bye.